Hey everybody, Tammy here, and today I just wanted to share with you my project for the design team for the Scrapbooking with Me Boutique on Facebook. And uh, this month we I was given the Graphic 45 Good Old Sport Collection to work with. Um, I really didn't think I was going to be able to pull this one off, but I'm really surprised at myself that uh, I was actually able to do it. It just came together. It was fantastic. And what I've made is a book frame. Um, I found an old book. It's actually an old book on uh, Queen Victoria that I used. And I used it because I really liked the way that the pages were... The edges of the pages are really rough. And uh, I really wanted to use those. So, anyways, I'm going to give you a quick tour of what I did here. I'm just going to try and zoom you in a bit. I'm going to try and zoom you in a bit so you can see. Okay, now, um, almost everything that I used is from the collection. There was only a couple of items I actually used from my stash. Um, here I've got, here at the top here I have the Prima flowers that were in my kit. These are beautiful. I did have to cut the leaves, these black leaves, down a bit. They were really quite large, but that's okay. And I cut out the, of course I did all my fussy cutting. Had to do that, right? Can't get away with not. And I cut out all the little stars from the paper. And fussy cut out the characters. I've added them, put them up on uh, pop dots. Um, some of the advertising from one of the sheets. Um... A picture. I really like that picture of the guys, the guys in the older outfits, you know, out on the greens. And here is just one of the baseball cards. Here I took um, wood pieces. These are just wood pieces from my stash, and I heat embossed them in copper. And I, of course, put the paper collection on the book here. And this was the. Uh, this was on the um, border sheet, and it just says, Our greatest glory consists not in ever failing, but in rising... What does it say? Oh, but rising... But in rising every time we fall. Sorry, <laughs> I can't read today. Now, for the spine, I've used this... Um, what is this called? This distress paper from Tim Holtz? And I also purchased this in the boutique. Um, it's really nice. Um, you can sand it, paint it, distress it, do whatever you want with it. And then on the spine, I cut out the words, of course, the good old sport times. And little pieces of the border here. Um, I've added, I hope you can read that. The lighting here is kind of funky today. Actually, the sun is shining out here today for the first, like, for the first time in forever, and it is gorgeous out. Okay, and here I've added one of the um, We Are Memory Keeper Brads. Uh, yeah, br not Brads, Eyelets. Here, and I also purchased that in the boutique. And for the charm, I took some chain and one of my Tim Holtz clasps. And the beads were in my or in the kit. And I thought those just really looked cute on the ends. And then I took a couple of pieces from my stash and I also purchased these from the boutique as well. Okay, and the back I left plain. Okay. So I'm hoping you can see that that everything is popped and it's all fussy cutted. It's dimensional. And I did add uh, book corners here to all the corners from my stash. They're just the metal book corners. Um, just, you know, it gives it that finished look, I think. And I've used um, the Tim Holtz Vintage Photo and Weathered Wood on almost all of this for distressing. Okay, and then I... Oh, we're going to open the book. And I'm going to back you up again so you can actually see this what I've done here and I have cut out the book here and here for the frame and inside here 
I did a whole bunch of fussy cutting and layering and yeah it was a lot of fun. This was a wood frame that was in our kit and I used the um, copper embossing powder just to heat emboss it and I'm going to try and bring this up a little bit so maybe you can see it. I'm hoping you don't get too much glare and I think you're going to. Hold on, let me see if I can fix this a little bit. Oh, a little dark. But you might actually be able to see it better now. Okay. I'm sorry, I can barely see into my camera. It's up so high for me. Um, here. Yeah, you can see it. Okay, here I've done the baseball. And then I've added the little... This was a, a fussy cut piece out of the paper. And I put the Claudine uh, helmet matte medium on all the pieces so that... They, you know, they have a little bit of stiffness to them. You know, they, they, they'll last a little longer. And what I did here was instead of putting the little pieces down, I actually kept the pages open here. And I actually tucked them into the pages. And I just liked the way that that turned out. I thought that was kind of cute. And I did it also on the other side with the hockey here. And I've got the whistle and the time clock. Um, the ale. This metal flower was in our kit. Sorry, this metal flower here was in our kit. I love the metals. Um, what else did I put in? I put in some of the advertisements are in there as well. And I really like this of the gentleman. The image of the gentleman playing golf. And I put in a, a, a pocket watch on a chain with a Timmy knob here. And I've hooked that into the pages in here as well. Um, in the back here, I don't know if you can see it. Um, you have to kind of look at an angle. I've added the Fab Scraps hanger, chipboard hanger that was in our kit, and I've hung banners from it. I thought that was kind of a cute little thing. And up the side here, I've just put, I fussy cut out the champion and some of the stars some of the borders. And here on the bottom, well, he got a little bent there. Okay. Um, here along the bottom, what I did was, this was actually a piece of the border. These people walking. So I fussy cut out the border piece and put them on there for effect. And I've added the baseball cards here. And then this is just one of the border strips that I've added and the reason was I cut my paper too short so I had to cover it. I did. <laughs> On this side I did this again did all the stars and I've got the boxer here with the boxing glove behind him and over here I've got the soccer player and he's on pop dots. Well, let's see if you can see that. See, he's all poofed up. And then I've got the basketball players down here hiding in the corner. And again, another one of the Prima flowers that was in our kit. Um, I cut out the, the flags here, or the banners. And I've got them on pop dots and the good old sport banner. This was another one of the wood frames that was in our kit. And again, I did the copper heat embossing. And inside, I put the number one. And that was actually part of the paper. I cut that out and I put it on two different uh, pieces of the paper. And then I put poured glossy accents in and totally filled it up. And I added the stars again. And all these little stars I have fussy cut out of the paper and then I put uh, glossy accents on all of them. Okay. And then here are just four little pearls that I, that I purchased from the boutique as well. And then here what I did was, I like the look of the, the, the green, right? What you would call the, you know, the golf green. And I wove the paper so that it would look, you know, a little different than the rest of the page. And again, the smaller version of the gentleman that was on the front for the golf. And the reason that there is no football in here is because this is going to a special friend for Father's Day. 
and he doesn't do football. He does all the other sports, but not football. And the frame here is just one that I picked up, I'm not sure exactly where. And it was silver, and I used um, metal mixatives and copper on it to add a little bit of color. And I just took some trim. This is, I know it looks metal, but it's not. It's just a trim that I picked up, and you know, I don't have a clue where it came from. And please don't mind my telephone. And then inside the pages, I have added some of the advertisements that I've cut out. And the ticket stubs, which of course, got to have your tickets. Okay, and then over here I kept the scorecard coming out as well. I wanted to add as much dimension to this book as I could. Um, just really make it come alive. And you know, it, like I said, it shocked me. It came together so nicely. And then in the back, what I did was I have got it magnet magnets in it, holding it closed. And the inside back cover is plain. And I am going to write in here a nice sentiment. But here is for opening and closing the frame. And as you can see, I just added a... I will add his photo to it. And I'm hoping you can see that. And I just added the baseball player with the... Um, Ump and the uh, back catcher. Catcher there. Okay, for that. But I've magneted, put magnets in these so that it just stays closed. So that when it stands up, you know, it doesn't pop, fly open. But that was my project for this month. And I know I'm a day late getting it out. And I am sorry. But I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time. And remember, come on over to the boutique. I know that there are still a couple of these collections available. And if you're a member, request an invite. Somebody will be there to add you right away. Talk to you later. Bye.